Oh, there it was. Does that mean I hate you or does that mean let's be friends? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thanks for stopping by. It's a beautiful sunny day and the snow is melting, isn't it, Ransom? Yep. The, the Highland cattle, which I uh, have recently been calling snow cattle, are doing great. They're right here behind us. I just finished uh, giving them a little extra water. And Ransom has been begging to do one thing for the last week. What is it, Ransom? My motorcycle. He wants to ride his motorcycle. So hopefully you guys want to see him ride it because it's time, isn't it, buddy? Yep. He hasn't been able to ride it for a few days because of the bad weather. So we're going to break it out of the shop, let him uh, see if he can rip some new uh, some new dirt. You going to do that? Yep. You going to spin out? How fast did you say you like to go? Uh, twist all the way down. Twist all the way down? Full throttle? Uh-oh. We're in big trouble. I can tell you right now, because of Ransom, Cassie and I have our work cut out for us. So you can see the Highland cattle are right here behind us. And I will tell you what, Ransom said, is that a pump? Nope, that's not a pump. That keeps the water from freezing. And that has been a lifesaver these last few days because I know the um, cows have plenty of water. Uh, we don't have to worry about them and not having enough water. They're doing great. And I called them snow cattle. So most recently I've been nicknamed them snow cattle because in the snow, they just sit outside and enjoy it, Ransom. Yeah. I think they really like the snow. What do you think? Yeah. What do you call them? Furry cows. Furry cows. That's right. So Ransom, he sees all that hair and he says that that is a furry cow. So let me know what you think. Do you think all that all that hair looks like fur? I can see it, Ransom. I can see that fur. So before I get his motorcycle out, some of you have been asking, what about the peacock? Our peacock um, has been up in a pen. He's been by himself. Some of you think he's lonely. He needs to be let out. Well, it's not quite long enough. I think another week or two, we'll be ready to turn him out. But when we turn him out, we're gonna be turning him out with our chickens. So we wanna test out our peacock, see how he does with a rooster, see if they get along or if they fight. If they fight, we can separate them. So Cassie put them together earlier, and I wanna show you guys exactly what that looked like in just a little bit. So you wanna stick around for that. Also, I just washed the old farm truck because I drove it out in the salt and the um, sand that they've been putting on the roads. So Mazzy's still trying to earn a little extra money. So I told her that me and her might come out in a little bit and clean the wheels up. So a couple other things to do here on the farm. So you guys stick around, but let's see how Ransom likes this motorcycle. What? All right, Ransom, this motorcycle has not been started in a few days. You think it's gonna start? I bet it is. I hope so. We'll find out. Let's see, we'll put it on start mode and give it a kick. Woohoo! warm up a little bit. You ready for this? Yes. Hang on. Alright, I think it's ready. Better hop on. Alright, you ready? Count it down.
So what do you think about uh, the fearless motorcycle rider? He needs a track somewhere because when I go to mow, if I hit these ruts, I'm not going to be very happy. Well, based on the sound of that little two-cycle engine, you're going to have a lot of ruts. And he rides the same path every single time. <laughs> I told him if he'd spread it out a little bit, it wouldn't be as bad. But what's the fun in that? He has a track. He wants to ride it. Hey, let him be, have fun, right? Yeah. I don't really know where we would put a track at either. Probably exactly where he's riding. It'd just be dirt. <laughs> So we've been getting a lot of comments too about Ransom's training wheels and how you don't think he needs them. Well, one, he has them because uh, his feet don't really touch the ground very well. And two, because the motorcycle weighs more than him. He can ride it without training wheels because he can't balance, but for his safety, I think he needs them. Hey, you all done? Yeah. Hey, why are you throwing all that dirt? Huh? Is that fun? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Joe. So Mazzy is still in the hunt for a new doll, Mazzy. American Girl doll. The American Girl doll. And Mama gave you a little bit more information. So she said that that one doll, did they, is it, are they still making it? They were sold out. They're, they're sold out. So they, they, out of stock. They quit making them after so long. So did and then you... there's this other brand that, that makes the same doll. Very similar. Yeah, but it's cheaper. And, and so I don't have to work that much now. <laughs> so she don't have to work that much. So Cassie found a, a similar brand. Uh, it's like the, twenty dollars or like thirty. They're like thirty-five dollars each at Target, and told Mazzy the price difference and how much the how much one? she would have to work for the American Girl versus the other one. The other one was like a hundred and sixty dollars. And the Tinny doll, American Girl doll, was a hundred and sixty. So Mazzy. Did you decide that you want to work a super long time for a different American Girl doll, or are you going to go for the cheaper doll? Cheaper. So Mazzy is going to go for the value doll because she said she still likes it and it had really good reviews. So there you go. But she still has to work a little bit more, I think one or two more days, and she'll have all the money she needs. She's just really getting excited. So I, um, Today we're going to clean my dad's tires. So, yes, Mazzy said we're going to clean our tires today. As you guys know, we recently got some snow, and whenever that happens, yeah. I drive this truck some because... Some of it melted. Because why do I drive this truck, Mazzy? What does that say? Chevy? No, it doesn't say Chevy. Thank goodness. What does that four say? Four times four. Four times four. Four by four. So all four wheels turn. So when it snows, I drive this truck. But as soon as the snow's over, I go and I wash it real good, and then we try to clean it up a little bit so that salt from the roads is off of it. So Mazzy's going to help me clean the wheels today to earn another $10. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, and I was going to show you guys tripods. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I am the hardest on tripods. I just broke this one. See, it's supposed to connect right there. And I broke that piece right there. So, another tripod? Oh no, what is that? <laughs> In the trash. We go through tripods, <laughs> kind of like uh, some people go through disposable cups around here. No, that's not that bad. One lasts us about three to six months. Mazz. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so we're going to clean these wheels. Mazzy's, uh, Mazzy, you want to do the spraying? We got to spray it down. So you just do a little spray, 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 spray. Oh my. around the, the wheel, not on the tire, but the wheel, okay? Okay, I sprayed this one. You want to spray the other ones? Sure. Well, you got it on the tire. Yeah, spray that thing down. Mike, right here is the main spots. And then right there, we'll go all the way around. Squeeze really hard. All right, good job. Well, Mazzy's doing a great job. Some of you uh, completely understand what Mazzy's doing and learning 
uh, how to work a little bit to earn. And a couple people don't really understand. They say, I helped her pick up sticks the other day. Yes, I helped her. But she got out of the house. She got off of her iPad. She got out of her comfort zone. She got into the weather. And she worked. And if I help her a little bit, that's okay because she's eight years old. And she's learning. And she's doing a good job. So we're going to give it a real quick rinse. We get that kink out, sissy? Nope, the other way. There you go. Thank you. Watch your feet. Don't get your feet wet. Good? Yeah. When you're outside working, sometimes water tastes a little bit better from the hose. Here comes the hard part. Yes, so here's the hard part, Mazzy. How so we, this, what's going to happen? We're going to take our, our towels, okay? And now we go around, all the way around the outside edge like this. And you wipe, see that? Uh. Yeah, see all that black that comes off? And then wipe down the inside. See the inside of these wheels? Yeah. You just push kind of as hard as you can. And then the center cap. Wipe down it all that you can. It's dirty. Can't believe your wheels are so dirty. You probably want to do this. Bro. Well, we had to drive in the mud and the snow, Mazzy. All right, grab some paper Here. towels. It's your turn to start doing it. So this is an older truck, and it's a farm truck. But I also want to teach our kids. It doesn't matter how nice your vehicle is, or how nice your house is, or how nice anything is. You still take as good a care of it as you can uh, when you have the time to take care of it. So we're going to try to do a good job, get these cleaned up, and uh, make sure the truck is nice and clean. I also vacuumed it on the inside, so it should be in good shape when we get ready to use it. You got this one, Sissy, by yourself? Um, I think so. Okay. Wait for me for the last one. All right. Do a good job. All right, so this is about finished. Just about. All right, it's looking good. Now. Right. Did you know it was a fashion video too? Oh my. Baby. <laughs> did you know it was Ma a fashion video? <laughs> Mazzy is the queen of fashion around <laughs> Walker Farm. It's dirty in the inside too. It's very dirty. These wheels probably needed to be cleaned before the snowstorm came, but now's a good time to get them cleaned up. Hey, there was a snowstorm? Yeah, remember all that snow we got? Wait, wait, that was a snowstorm. That was a, it wasn't a snow apocalypse, thankfully. <laughs> what if it was? Then I'd still be cold, probably. I would stay inside. I'm going to clean this a little bit, okay? And this video is a bad fashion. It looks so clean and fashionable. Mazzy said it's so clean and so fashionable. So good job, Mazzy. That job wasn't too bad, was it? Was that a bow as you walked away? <laughs> so good job to Mazzy. She's a hard worker and I think she's earned just enough money to get her doll that she's now wanting. You think you're ready to pick it out? Yeah. All right, you did a good job. So Mazzy's, uh, I think, finished up earning just enough money for the doll that she was wanting. So her and Cassie will have to start uh, looking online and maybe ordering that one soon. But she's put in a little bit of hard work and the truck is looking a little extra spiffy because of it today. So Cassie um, is about ready to come out. We'll give you an update on our peacock 
and see how he's getting along or not getting along with his new uh, pen mate. So we made it back out to the Peacock's pen and seems to be doing okay, but Cassie put him in there earlier by herself and you want to show him that right now? Yeah, I put the rooster in Mr. Peabody's pen. You guys said he needed a friend. I don't have any mature hens that I could put in with him, so I put the rooster in because it's not a mature rooster, it's just a big rooster, so I don't think they'll fight. Um, but he started making some really weird noises, and I wasn't sure what was happening. And remember, you guys are the ones that wanted this. You were, <laughs> you were feeling sorry for Mr. Peabody saying that he doesn't need to be alone. We, Cassie got guilt tripped into putting another rooster. No, the big rooster, he needs to get acclimated. He's still not quite full size yet. And so I thought, we thought this would be a great time to uh, put the two together, let him be buddies. So, and Mr. Peabody needs to stay in this pin with a top on it a little longer because um, we've been told by all y'all experts that if we don't keep him um, locked up for over a month he will just try to fly back home because that's what peacocks do so um, he needs to stay in here a little longer but I gave him a friend let's see what happened so lots of you said that Mr. Peapot Mr. Peabody needed a friend so I put the rooster in here that was over here with my chicks because he's getting so big but I'm not sure Mr. Peabody's a, a fan there's a rooster he was making this weird noise Let's see if he'll do it again. You hear that popping noise? He was making a really loud noise that I've never heard before. I don't know if he'll do it again though. Hey buddy. I give you a friend. Do you not like him? Do you not like your new friend? Huh? Uh oh. Could be trouble. Does that mean I hate you or does that mean let's be friends? I don't, I'm not real sure. So as you saw, he was making noises I've never heard before. Does that mean he was happy, mad? Um, I'm not real sure. But uh, they have started calming down now and anytime you put animals together they got to get like a pecking order they got to say hey I'm the boss or you're the boss so I knew it would happen um, but I think everything is okay now especially when you have an exotic animal like a peacock <laughs> that has like crazy looking feathers that can well, go that's big what the rooster was like pecking at his feathers because I think he thought like that was something trying to get him so yeah so let's take a look at how they've got settled down and I think they're pretty chill right now but let's see what you guys think so Mr. Peabody is pacing because that's what he does when we get close to him. And the new rooster is just kind of hanging out. They're not fighting. They're not uh, trying to kill each other. They're not trying to um, do anything bad. So I think it's a success for now. They've got a friend. You've got a friend in me. And that's kind of what Mr. Peabody does, though, anytime we come out here. He's he's still not real comfortable around people yet. It's all right, buddy. We're not going to hurt you. So once we get away from the pen a little bit, you can probably see behind us, he's not pacing as much. But he usually comes way down, starts eating grain and pecking around a little bit. And the rooster... He looks pretty calm the whole time. Yeah, we've me I've messed with the rooster quite a bit, and I hatched him out. The peacock, I'm not real sure. He had a lot of human interaction at his old place before we got him. So he's had to get used to us and realize that we're not going to hurt him, that we love him. So hopefully we'll be able to put him out front in our big chicken pen soon, but we need him to get used to other chickens and make sure everything's going to be okay. He might stay in there. He might fly out. You yeah. never know. Yeah, so just a couple more weeks or maybe next week. We'll get time to get him out there, turn him loose, and hopefully he doesn't fly away down to Mexico or the Bahamas 
He may be a tropical bird and want to go on vacation, but hopefully he stays here on Walker Farm so we can see those beautiful tail feathers pop up in the air and, and get to watch them. Uh, that's our hope anyway, but there's only one way to find out. Turn them loose and see what happens. Yeah, so we want to end this video with opening up some packages. Ranger got some awesome packages in the mail. You guys are too, too kind. And um, you're going to be able to see his reaction when he opens them up right now. So a few videos back, Gary took the kids rock hunting because Ranger is really into rocks. For Christmas, he asked for um, something to hold his rock collection in. So we got him some cool little tubs. And we are going to designate one of the tubs for things that people send you because... You guys are amazing are, and are sending some awesome stuff. So this is from James and Jenny Sinclair. So there's a letter and then don't let it fall out, but what you can this? dig in there. It so, says Ranger, the enclosed concrete is apart from the Berlin Wall in Germany. I got this while I was in the U.S. Army and stationed in Germany. At the time, the wall came down in 1989. Hope you enjoy it as part of your rock collection. So you probably haven't learned a whole lot about the Berlin Wall yet, but he gave us a whole uh, paper here about the history and things so we can read over that. And then I'm sure pretty soon he's going to be learning about it in school. So thank you so much. That is so nice of you. Can, let's see what it looks like. So this is a piece from the Berlin Wall. Isn't that amazing? So we are going to be labeling this stuff as long as... Um, as well as saving the information about all of it. So, thank you so much. What do you want to tell them? Thank you. Okay, this came from Amazon and it didn't have um, who it was from and I've had several people email message and things saying that they were wanting to send stuff. So, I don't want to take a guess at who this might be because I don't want to get it wrong. But, if you sent this to Ranger, comment down below. Tell how heavy it is. Oh. <laughs> all right. Open it up. I got it. So this kind of, this goes along with it. And it is all kinds of rocks and then like a magnifying glass for you to look close at them. And they're all numbered. Let me set it like this. So they're all numbered and this is like the key to what all of it is okay so that's really cool because we you can start um it tells you about them he can start learning what things look like and um, feel like and stuff like that so that when we go out rock hunting you're kind of familiar with all of it huh it's pretty cool huh yeah what do you want to say to whoever it was that sent you this thank you so, so much. there's a magnet and a nail so I guess if stuff sticks to magnets, then it's certain things. So thank you so much for whoever sent this. We truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. So this next box is from George and Carol Stout, all the way from Pennsylvania. They have a very nice note here. And do you guys know where Hershey's are made? Pennsylvania. So Mazzy, what's your favorite candy bar? Oh. Hershey's. So, they sent you and Ransom a Hershey from Pennsylvania, since that's your favorite candy. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't that cool? All right, so then, um, for Ranger, she sent um, a snail fossil, a shell fossil, and part of a prehistoric arrowhead that they found um, on their farm. So, it goes into the history of their farm and different things that they have found on there and things that her father found on there so she sent some very special treasures from their farm in pennsylvania so this looks like the arrowhead she was talking about that is super awesome it came off their farm oh yeah and that looks like a that looks like a Whoa. snail you see that it looks like a snail careful don't drop them and then these have um, fossils. Is that a shell stock? Yeah. What's that? Another one of those seashell snail. fossils, I think. Snail. I mean, snail yeah, fossils. Thank you so much. So thank you guys so much for sending stuff to the kids. You guys do not have to do that. We truly appreciate it. We are going to get this stuff in his um, little holder and label it. 
and figure out a way to keep it organized and we'll show you that maybe on the next video. We are blessed with the best subscribers and viewers and we can't say thank you enough. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video. We hope you have a great, great day. God bless. What do you want to say, kids? Peace out. <laughs> thank you. Love you guys.